and good morning i hope everyone is well this morning i hope we are having a good saturday morning thank you everyone for joining us this morning i hope i'm hoping that everybody else is still getting the link um i i posted it late yesterday on the instagram story so i hope everyone got it in time but um if you're getting off or maybe your network is not great don't worry we're gonna have the recording on youtube so welcome to everyone let me see uh, anybody who's new who's joining us for the very first time on our saturday morning healing sessions just say hi or raise your hand so that we can see you that you're joining us for the first time other than that uh Thank you everyone for coming through this on this Saturday mornings. We all need healing. We all need, you know, a place to just release and um, lean on somebody else for, for support and for, for, for strength. We all need this. So Saturday mornings, well, not all the Saturday mornings. So the Saturday is when the Lord allows I, 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 I avail myself so that we can be able to come together and do the healing. Thank you so much. I, thank you, everybody. I see your hands. Welcome. Um, whenever you have time on Saturday mornings, just check my Instagram stories. If we have a link, it means that Saturday we're having this prayer meeting, right? So we um, on Saturday mornings, we heal our chakras, our chakras, um, uh, our energy system. I normally just try every morning just for the sake of somebody who is not, uh, who has not been with us before to just explain what those are. So our, 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 our chakra system is the energy system that help us to guide our energy in all the places that we might be having a, a shortage or a lack of something um, that gives us strength. So sometimes it's in our money situation, sometimes it's in our just uh, health situations, sometimes it's in our relationship situation, sometimes, you know, it's a uh, work, career, business. So every aspect or you can think of maybe sometimes it's in the parenting side sometimes it's in um um just happiness you know like you 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 have everything that's supposed to be fine in your life but you're not happy so there is um an energy point that is not set up correct so we have the seven that um, is, 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 is the primary, the basic uh, chakras. There are seven. They start from the root at the base of your spine up to the top of your head, the crown chakra. So the seven across the body, but then there is more that are spiritual that are above you, um, your, your physical body, and there's more that goes also down. But then um, most of the time we just talk about the ones that are aligning with our bodies. So for an instance, the first one uh, at the base of our spine is the root chakra. That is the chakra that when it's out of balance, how you know is that you don't feel safe here in the planet. You don't feel like you fit in. And for, I may say, I mean, not that you want to fit in, but you just don't feel like you feel like um, everybody does not understand you. Everybody does not um, re reproxicate what you're giving to the world. People are not um, liking you, you know, taking you serious at work, in, in, in your family, you know, family quarrels and all those kind of stuff. It's because your root chakra is not in balance because it doesn't matter what, um, is happening in, in, in all things. When you are grounded, you know your place, you know that um, what is it that you stand for. But when your, 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 your root chakra is balanced, most of the time you see your money is okay, it's stable, you feel secure in yourself, you feel that um, you have a place and you know when to uh, be in situations that you should be in and you know when you need to turn a blind eye to other things. And I mean, there are things in life that we need to turn a blind eye to and there are things that we need to always, um, you know, make sure that we're fixing, but sometimes we might be fixing things we shouldn't be fixing and we are wasting our energy there. So that's the root. Then the next one will be the sacral chakra. That one is about emotions and our creativity and our happiness. 
and our, um, our, 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 our joy, you know, um, happiness and joy, is some, it's not something you get from a car or a house or a relationship or, or, or a job or a, a, a business. It's something that you create yourself. And we have been taught that you must just go and get a glass of wine, you'll be happy, or you must go and just buy yourself a new car, you must have money in the bank account and you'll be happy. Believe me, we all probably by now have found out that those things don't actually give us happiness. So when you balance your sacral chakra, you start to feel the happiness that does not come from any of those things, the happiness that you have it, the happiness that when you wake up in the morning, you feel it that, oh, I'm actually happy. And there's so much that's going wrong around you, but you know that you're happy. So when that chakra is balanced, you, you feel content, you feel fulfilled. I mean, for myself, when I started to work on that chakra on a serious, uh, 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 you know, like really uh, focusing on it, that's when I found my spiritual calling because my spiritual calling needed me to come through as a person who is fulfilled in life. I couldn't serve others when I was still hoping for things to change and hoping for things to be a certain way. I needed to find that peace. And when I found that peace, I was able to help others. So that chakra is quite important when you want to find your purpose, when you want to find who you really are. So that is the sacral chakra, the second chakra. And in us women, it's connected with the womb. A lot of things in life, um, that hurt us, we carry it in our womb because that is the most sacred place that we have. And that is how we touch the world. You know, when we intimate, that person we're intimate with, they are touching our womb and that is where it hurts the most. And that's why, you know, once you, you've slept with somebody, oh man, they've so much took your soul <laughs> because they, they connect with your sacral chakra and that is like the base of your emotions, who you are and your happiness and, you know, all those kind of stuff. So, and the third chakra is our solar plexus chakra. That is the chakra of our confidence, of our willpower, of uh, being courageous, going out there in the world and doing what you want to do, what you said you will do, what you know you should be doing. So sometimes when you have low self-esteem, you don't know, your, your voice is not heard, you, 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 know, you, know, you don't know how to stand up for yourself, you don't know when to say yes or say no, you don't know to balance all that confidence and being able to stand up for yourself in life. That is when your, your, your solar plexus chakra is not doing so great. So that is also a very important chakra, specifically if you have goals that you want to achieve, that chakra needs to be a little bit stronger. And then the next one will be the heart chakra, very important chakra. That is the chakra for love, receiving and giving. So most of us, specifically uh, women, we find ourselves being the ones that are giving all the time because of course God you know, um, created us to, to be mothers, to be the caregivers, to be, but then sometimes uh, to be healers. I mean, women are healers and all this. But then now when our heart chakra is hurt so much and has been wounded so much, we stop receiving love. Even when people are giving us love, we are not able to receive that love. We are not able to um, take in what we should be taking in. We are just only giving, 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 giving. And then we feel empty and then we feel depleted and then we start to be bitter and then we start to be toxic. And then, and then you know, the, how the story goes, right? We blame the whole world for taking from us, but we are not receiving. So that chakra is quite important. So today we're going to be dealing with that heart chakra. I know like, oh my goodness, that's just one chakra I never want to deal with myself because... I, yeah, I mean, I've got a lot of daily issues and all sorts of things that I'm still dealing with, you know, so that heart chakra is one of the places that um, we are able to deal with that. So it's a lot of, if you have mother wound issues and you have daily issues, which are like issues of being abandoned and, you know, left, you know, to yourself. I mean, I grew up without parents. So all my life, I blamed them for bringing me here and just sort of leaving me out there to figure it all out from when I was in grade one, like I was already thinking about where am I buying, how am I buying my shoes? How am I going to make money to buy my shoes at six years? You know, that does not land well on the heart chakra <laughs> so um it's one of the chakras that i normally um 
I would say avoid, <laughs> but it's very important for us to, to, to connect with that chakra. So today we're going to be doing that. And I think last week we were doing the solar plexus. So you can go back to my YouTube channel and, and if you feel like you have got some issues on that. And the previous time, I think week we had our sacred chakra. So go to my, to go back to my uh, YouTube channel and you look at the sessions that are written healing session and you will find um, some of those. So today we're doing the heart chakra. Then we have the throat chakra. The throat chakra is about you being able to manifest and voice out um, things uh, and ask and um, be true to yourself and uh, you know a whole lot of you allowing the world to know what you want when you want it and how you want it now we are always saying we need something in life but we normally don't tell life what is it exactly that we want? We just know that we're lacking something, but we never are able to um, let the world know. And um, I mean, I struggle a lot from that. It's sort of like you just expect people to know what's up and they don't know. And you expect them to behave a certain way and they don't know. And it's not sometimes that you have to say it out loud, but you just have to have a good throat chakra for people to understand what you need from them because God is not going to, you know, fall from the sky and help you. Somebody in this planet will help you. And if your throat chakra is closed, you're not going to be able to say what is it that you need. So at work, in the family, in, in friendships, you are just the, like the net, like, yeah, like everybody just comes through and... Uh, and, and, and Basulela, their feet on you and they walk because you're not saying much. So that is the throat chakra. And I'm sure in the coming weeks, we're going to do that. And then we've got the third eye chakra, very important chakra also. That one helps us to see our visions. When you have goals and your, 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 your third eye chakra is closed, you don't see the truth about what you need. You don't see the truth of where you should be going. But also it's the spiritual um, eye for, for you to know where you should be and where you shouldn't be. You know, a lot of people come to me to sessions and say, well, is my husband cheating? Um, fix your third eye chakra. You don't have to come to me to ask me that question at 4 a.m. Really, guys, you don't have to, because you do have a third eye that can tell you those kind of things. And I'm not saying you should be going around asking that question. Actually, it's a wrong question to even ask. Like, I mean, you know what I mean. Um, if you can feel it, it's true, energy never lies. So you shouldn't be even worried about if, the, if, if, if my husband is cheating on me, you should be saying, um, how do I heal from this so that I can get over it? Because it's either you um, not uh, allowing yourself to be true to you and you're gonna let um, other people do things that you don't like and you just sit there and watch them do it and you're not taking your power and all those kind of stuff that is are important to us for our happiness. I mean, we are here to just be happy. You know what, after all, the most important thing for us here is to be happy. And when you are not happy, why? So the third eye chakra is important for that. And then the last one is the crown chakra. That is how we hear God. That is how we hear our guides. That is how we connect with the spiritual world. So if your crown chakra is closed, you don't see yourself as God sees you which is the most important thing in the world. God sees us a certain way and God knows that um, we can do all the things that we're supposed to be doing and that we, we are told to do. But when we don't see ourselves that God sees us, we, we, we think we are not worthy. We think we are not good enough. We think um, it's, it, we, you know, it, these things are for other people that are not for us. So um, that is um, when your crown chakra is not in balance, you feel like, you are not good enough. You don't understand your failure. You don't see your failure. You do not go out there and present your failure, which then gives you a reward. So, yeah, um, probably of, most of you have heard me say this. I mean, I'm, I guess it doesn't hurt to hear it again. So for those um, that are joining us for the first time, yeah, that is normally the work that we do on Saturday mornings. So like I said, uh, today we're going to be working on the heart chakra. We're going to start just around about now. I'm sure everybody's almost here. Uh, we're about at 80, yeah, so we're normally about 100, but I'm sure others are, are going to get their recording as normal. So uh, when we're dealing with the heart chakra, 
it is quite an intense chakra so allow yourself to to release um the pain that you've been holding on the the, the, the one important thing about things that we go through in life is that um I always, and, and you probably have heard me say in other videos, we, God gives us this um, uh, life in lanes. So at all times you are, you, you, you are living like maybe let's say 35 lives at one time. And it's like, think of the N1, it's got maybe five lanes all going to Johannesburg. And there's a car in lane one, there's a car in lane two, there's a car in lane five. Now, because, and, and all of us would probably had had a, a moment where you're feeling like you are going through a deja vu moment where you're feeling like, I man, I've lived this, like this moment, it feels like it's happening again. It's not that it's happening again. It's that you are living the same moment in another lane. So at all times, you could be at one uh, space or vibration in the life that you are living. So let me explain. Um, we have got something called a, an astrology chart that uh, is determined by calculations, maths calculations of the time of birth and, and, and the date you were born. And this is when you receive your script for your life, how your lifetime is going to go. So just like a Garabo in generation gets a position to be a Garabo, the director it knows the script that today is it's day one of season one of everything season one and in season five Karabo is going to have the child and then the child is going to pass on and this and that and then it's going to have a business and it's going to go down and she's going to learn and you're going to it's going to come back better and all that so we have the script that we receive but in the script we can leave it in so many lanes so for me my worst case let's say in lane one my worst case my child says i could be an addict sleeping on under the bridges and i have seen that at a point in my life i i i, I owed the bank 40 million rent and i mean i was very close to that so there's a part of me where if i um take well, certain turns and certain behaviors I could be uh, living there under the bridge and an edit of some sort. And then there's a lane where I am, okay, at least I've got a career, but you know what, I'm, I'm, I'm living a creepy life, I'm just useless, but at least I can eat. And then there's a lane where I'm actually helping people and I am, you know, doing a little bit better and then there's a lane where i am this amazing great person that is on top of most of the things in her life and is great and is able to do all things that she wants and all of this is happening at the same time now depending which lane you are on at any time you can change those lanes go from lane one to lane five where you go from the worst to the greatest in the same lifetime so when we heal, we change lanes. So you could be at the lane where you are depressed, you, you are lacking, but there's another lifetime where you are living your best life. So when we're doing these healings and we're changing our vibrations, we are actually just changing lanes. We are changing from the lane where you could be under the bridge to a lane where you are actually impactful. So that is the whole point of us doing this. So the heart chakra, when we're working with the heart chakra, it goes and it talks to us about those issues that we don't want to face for us to be able to change the lanes, to go from the worst to the better. And like I'm saying, you could also go from good to worse, depending on how much you're taking care of yourself. So I'm happy you guys are showing up for these sessions because these are the sessions where we actually make the moves to changing the lanes to getting better and um i mean i talk about this more often in the manifestation program but i hope you get the gist of why we're doing this we are changing lanes because you are living a creepy life right now that you think is creepy there is another life where you are living a best life you just need to go to that one and then the transformation is sort of not always nice you know you have, you'll have to look at your blind spot you will have to uh, 
uh, put on your indicator and check if there aren't any cars and then you know changing lanes is never nice uh, you, you know you when you're driving on one lane and you're just looking at the front it's good but once we have to change lanes there's so many things we have to look into so this healing session is about that we are changing lanes so today we're doing the heart chakra it might feel a little bit tense it might feel a little bit emotional but it's okay allow these emotions to to happen so when they happen you start to see the blind spot i mean today it's it's it's, it's, it's the new moon it happened at this 4 a.m today when i was doing my 4 a.m prayers i mean i got this amazing 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 um aha moment about a question that i've been asking myself like maybe for about two days now and this morning i got the blind spot i was like oh my god this is what i've not been noticing and i was just like wow this changes so much you know I, I just i felt it in my room like wow i'm literally changing lanes here because i finally just understood something about uh, this problem that i thought i had so that's what happens when you deal with the with the heart chakra so allow yourself to relax allow yourself to just know that you're taking care of yourself this morning and in the next probably 45 minutes you are just taking care of you, which is a very, very good thing. And uh, so relax, make sure you are, you, are, you are sitting comfortably. Make sure if you can, make sure that your feet are touching the ground. But if you are in bed, it's fine. You can lie uh, on your back and make sure that you support your head, your neck, because I need your, your throat to be open so that you can breathe well. So it means that your, your spine must be straight. If the greatest position is for you to sit up straight and have your back up supported and uh, have this uh, airway open. I'm going to take a deep breath in and out and just listen to my voice. So I'm going to turn off the video just so that I can be closer to the microphone of the computer so that you can hear me better. Okay, we're going to start now. If you are able, you can light up a candle for yourself and bring a glass of water, but you don't have to worry about that if you don't have those things around. I've got them here for you, so we can begin. And take a deep breath in and out. And in and out. And in and out. And take another deep breath in with your nose and let it out with your mouth. Another deep breath in with your nose and let it out with your mouth. It's okay for you to heal. It's okay for you to take time and take care of yourself. And take another deep breath in and out. And in and out. And in and out. It's okay for you to heal. It's okay for you to take time and take care of yourself. And take another deep breath in with your nose and let it out with your mouth. And just relax, get your shoulders to relax. Get your shoulders to relax. It is safe to heal. It is safe to take care of yourself. And take another deep breath in and out. And just know that at this time you're taking care of you. At this time you're taking care of the most important person in the planet which is you. You are the most important person in this planet. And now you are taking care of that person. And take another deep breath in and out. And 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 in and out. I like you to see yourself as your younger self, the young vision of yourself. See yourself as that little girl, young girl, little boy. Doesn't matter how much, how, which age you see yourself in, but that little you that had 
great aspirations. See yourself in that state of being young you, state of understanding who you are, state when you were happy and hopeful. And just see how, as your younger self, you look. Are you happy? Are you sad? What do you understand and what pictures come to you now of your younger self? And take another deep breath in and out. And in and out. And in and out. And in and out. How does your younger self look? How is she feeling? How is he feeling? So take another deep breath in and out. What does your younger self hope for? Does she hope for happiness? Does she hope for peace? Does she hope for abundance? Does she hope for freedom? And take another deep breath in and out. Notice the place you see yourself in. What do you see around you? What is standing up for you? Take another deep breath in and out. And in and out. And in and out. And in and out. As you see yourself in this place that is quiet, that is peaceful, that is you at your young state. You see this beautiful white bench and this little girl is sitting there. Notice what she's wearing. Notice how she's feeling. Notice what she wants. Notice what she hopes for. And take another deep breath in and out. And in and out. As you sit with her in this bench, you start to speak to her. What do you want to say to her? What do you want to say to her about your life so far this morning? What do you want to tell her? What do you want to say to her? And take another deep breath in and out. What do you want to say to her this morning? How do you want to connect with her this morning? As you speak to her, what does she say to you about the current moment? What does she say to you? What does she want you to know at this current time with what you're facing? What does she want you to know? It's okay if all you can do is just cry with her. It's okay if all you can do is just comfort her. It's okay that if all you can, she can do is just comfort you. Take another deep breath in and out. And in and out. And in and out. What does she have for you this morning? What does she want you to know? What do you want to say to her? 
about the things that have happened, about where you currently are. Take another deep breath in and out. And in and out. So much has happened. And between you and this girl, so much has happened. Time has moved. Maybe time hasn't moved. Maybe you still feel like that little girl. What is it that she wants you to let go of? What, it, what it is that she wants you to forgive yourself for? Mistakes that you have made, things that have gone wrong. What does she want you to know this morning? And take another deep breath in and out. What blind spot does she want you to recognize? What are the things that you're looking for that you think will make you happy? But maybe they are not the real things that will make you happy. What are the things that you think you need? And maybe they are not the things that you need. What is she saying to you this morning? What has happened between you and her? Between the past and today? What is it that you need to be proud of? What is it that you need to be congratulating yourself for? What is it that she's showing you that you have done very well? What it is that she's showing you that you know so well, that you are so valuable in? Take another deep breath in and just continue talking to this little girl. There's so much that she needs to say to you about the current moment. What do you want to say to her about the current moment? And take another deep breath in and out. It's okay to heal. It's okay to take time and take care of yourself. And talk to this girl about taking care of yourself. Talk this, to this girl about receiving love. The love that you do not know you have around you. Ask her to start showing you where the love is. How you can access it. Ask her to show you where your strength is and how to access it. Ask her to show you your blind spot, the things that you think you need, but you don't. The things that you think you are lacking, but you don't. The things that you think you don't have, but you have. Take another deep breath in. The things that you think you don't have, but you have. The things that you think you lack, but you do have. The things that you think you can't touch, but you are touching them. The things that are in your hands, but you're not using them. The things that are your gifts, but you despise them. The things that are your power, but you're scared of them. The things that are your support, but you don't use them. Take 
Take another deep breath in and out. And in and out. The things that you think they have hurt you, but they were just bringing you up to be stronger. The things that you thought were bad for you, but they were actually good for you. The mistakes that you've made that you thought have finished you, but they actually have lifted you up. The things that you thought have broken you, but they actually have made you strong. The things that you thought you did wrong, but actually they showed you what matters. And you're finding that place to forgive and forget. You're finding that place to forgive and move on. You're finding that place to forgive and be thankful of the lesson. You're finding that place of being thankful of the challenges. Not being scary, scared by the challenges, but welcoming the lessons that comes with the pain. Welcoming the lessons and the upgrades that comes with the pain. Just like when you go to the gym and you take the pain and you get the fitness, you are allowing the pain to give you the lessons. You are allowing the pain to strengthen you. You are allowing the pain to lift you up. You are allowing the pain to be your badge of honor. You are allowing the pain to make you better. You are allowing the pain to strengthen you. You take the pain and you make it your stepping stone. Take another deep breath in and out. And in and out. And in and out. As you sit there, you notice that as you talk to the scale, you start to see your guides you start to see your angels and everybody that is walking with you in this journey, everybody that has come through to make you and this girl continue living this life. You notice that you're not walking alone. You are supported. There's so much support in all directions. There's so much support and you start to be open to this support. You know that you are not alone. You know that you're not doing this by yourself. You know that you don't go through the pain alone. You know that you don't go through the pain by yourself. There's so much help. There's so much comfort. You are surrounded by thousands and thousands of guided angels that are just looking out for you. And now you can start to see them. Now you can start to feel them. They are all around you. They are always with you. They feel your pain. They know your pain and they are continually guiding you to places that will take away the pain. They are continually guiding you to release the pain and take the lesson from the pain. To forgive yourself and forgive those who have given you the lessons. Be thankful to those who have given you the lessons. Be grateful to those who have given you the lessons. 
It looks like they've gave you pain, but they gave you the lesson. They chose to come here and give you the most precious things, which are these lessons. Take another deep breath in and out. And in and out. And in and out. Now you know that the things you think you lack, you have them. The things you think you can't do are possible for you. Take another deep breath in and out. The things that you think are far-fetched, they are in your hands. Your hands are full of gifts that you need to start using. Your hands are full of power that you need to start using. Your hands are filled with abundance that you need to start recognizing. Your hands are filled with healing that you need to start giving to yourself and the world. Your hands are filled with power that is going to make a way for so many. Healing yourself and others is not a case. Take another deep breath in and out. As you sit there, you notice your higher self, your future self. Your future self has come to join you in this meeting. How does your future self look like? How does the better vision of yourself look like? How is her heart? How does she feel? Who is she? How does she look like? What does she see as important in her life? What does she focus on? Take another deep breath in and notice your future self. Notice the better vision of who you are. Notice the better vision of who you are. What does she know about herself? What does she understand about herself? Who is she? What does she have? What gifts are you getting from her? What lessons has she learned? Your future self, what lessons has she understand now? What has she done with her pain? What has she done with her challenges? What has she done with her insecurities? What advice does she have for you? What comfort is she giving you? What guarantees does she give you? What advice does she give you? And take another deep breath in and out. And in and out. And in and out.
and in and out and allow yourself to change lanes. Allow yourself to put down the fear. Allow yourself to put down the pain and change to the best version of yourself. The next version of yourself is ready for you. The next version of yourself, she says, it's time to become me. It's time to take your power. It's time to use your gifts. It's time for you to allow yourself to be happy. It's time for you to receive happiness. You don't have to work for happiness. You can never work for happiness. You can only receive it. Your higher self says, it's time to, for you to become me. You are ready to become me. You are ready to put down the pain. It's okay. The time for you to cry is coming to an end. You are ready to become me. You are ready to become this vision. You are ready to become me. And it's safe for you to become me. It's safe for you to take on the new state of who you are. It is safe for you to take on the new state of who you are. And take another deep breath in and out. It's okay for you to use your gifts. It's okay for you to use your power. It's okay for you to step into your power. It's okay for you to shine. It's okay for you to enter the new vision of who you are. And take another deep breath in. You feel the strength from your higher self. You feel the strength from your future self. You feel her strength. You feel her power. It gives you strength. It gives you fresh air. It gives you a new beginning. You start to see the blessings in the pain. You start to see the blessings in the mistakes. You feel her power. You feel her presence. You feel her comfort. You feel her sureness. Take another deep breath in and out. And in and out. She gives you the tools. She gives you the tools to rise. She gives you the tools to stand up. She gives you the tools to stand up and fight one more time. She gives you the tools to stand up and fight with those wounds. She gives you the tools to bandage those wounds and keep going. She gives you the strength to stand up in the muddy waters that you are in. She gives you the strength to take one more step. She lets you know that giving up is not an option. You are strong. You are supported. You are a warrior. You didn't come here to fail. 
you see that girl she's strong she's always been strong from the first day she got here she knew that she was strong you're going to continue her legacy you're going to stand up and fight one more time you're going to continue creating this wall of fame for her the ups and the downs the downs and the ups she's ready to ride the waves she's not scared she's not scared of what she will eat she's not scared of who's gonna be in her bed she's not scared of what she will drive she's not scared of what how she will pay for her company's expenses she's not scared she's willing to ride the waves and she will ride them until the end you feel her strength your higher self says take my hand we are going to do this we are going to do this we are going to get it done it is not the end it's just the beginning of a new season take another deep breath in and out and in and out and in and out feel her presence and feel her strength it's time to stand up it's time to stand up it is time to stand up it is time to stand up It is time to stand up. One more time. It is time to stand up. Take another deep breath in and out. You are strengthening. You are finding your strength. You are standing on your two feet again. And you know that you do not walk alone. There are thousands and thousands of warriors that are taking care of you, that are protecting you at all times. You just have to keep going. Take another deep breath in and out and feel the peace in your heart and feel the strength in your bones and take another deep breath in and out and in and out and in and in and out and in and out and i would like you to notice yourself thanking your younger self and your higher self and allowing them to hold your hand as you come back to where you are in the present moment knowing that you are supported knowing that you are not walking alone knowing that what you don't think you have you have what you think has gone wrong has actually gone right and take another deep breath in and out and in and out
And when you're ready, you can say thank you and you can open your eyes. And take another deep breath in and out. And in and out. And in and out. And in and out. And hope you're feeling better. Thank you so much for coming through. How are you guys feeling? Welcome to share. How are you feeling this morning on the comments? Anybody like to unmute themselves? That's okay also. How are you feeling? I've got a few messages here that I would like to share with you before we finish. Um, um, a few messages for maybe one or two people. Thank you. I see the messages. Well, you know what? Doing the hard stuff is not the most best thing, but hey, we try, we try, we try. And you know what? Um, we're getting better. Uh, okay, so I see your messages. Feeling light, strong, and free, hopeful. Yay! Isn't that what we need? And <laughs> patent, hopeful, feeling lighter, goosebumps, and patent, supported. Um, yes, 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 yes. Karma says, Thank you, Bossy. Can't stop peeping. Mm. We honor that. Um, Hmm, Renee says, I don't know how I feel. That's good. <laughs> Not knowing how you feel, that's very good. Kia says, I'm feeling tired with the sharp pain. <laughs> sharp pain on the right hand side. <sighs> when we started, now it's gone. Mm, we are healing. So when you sometimes, um, when you're letting go of things that have been there for so long, you know, we don't have to know even what is it that you're letting go of, but when you let go of those things, your body will tell you that it's letting go of stuff. So sometimes you feel pain, sometimes you yawn, sometimes, you know, your bladder gets full, sometimes you feel like you want to vomit, but uh, because we're doing heart chakra stuff, um, and I was really trying to be very, very, very careful with the heart chakras this morning because I felt that there was so much that you guys are holding on, but of course, I, I, when I was, uh, um requesting for us to get the healing this morning i really ask that it may it may come with easiness it may come with the um, calmness so um yes and of course crying uh, is important and it's normal and uh it also just one way of showing you showing you that you are you are releasing um that that, that no longer serves you um yes guys i see your messages so i want to quickly just go through the messages that i got while we were doing the session uh quickly here and um so that uh if you need to rush quickly somewhere you you and maybe there's a message for you here you got it um oh and um tomorrow we are having a um uh, the goddess class for the month of what august we're having it tomorrow at uh, 4 p.m uh we're gonna i'm gonna be teaching on how to read your astrology chart um like i said earlier we all get here with the script and if you know your script you you are not scared of the things that happen in your life you know when is your 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 your, your time of uh fighting you know when it's your time of laying low your your you know when it's time for you 
to, to, to which part of you you should be focusing on. Sometimes, you know, you are asking God for a husband and it's not time to ask for a husband. It's time to actually build a business. And you know what? If you're asking for a husband in terms of building a business, you're going to lose both because you can't get a husband because it's not time in your script yet, but you're also losing the opportunity of doing the business, you know. So I am going to be teaching that tomorrow, how to read your astrology chart. Please come through at 4 p.m. if you can. If you can, uh, if you have an RSVP, I know some of you that are here already have RSVP for tomorrow's session. Uh, please contact my PA, the number you know it. I've also put it there, 0612215867. If you do not know your time of birth, as we are, you can send me the message with your... Um, what is it? Your 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 date of birth and your name. I will check it for you. Your time of birth. If you do not know what time you landed on the planet, and because we, we're gonna need that information to be able to read your chart, so I'll give it to you tomorrow during the session. So I'm I'm just compiling today. I'm gonna the whole day. I'm gonna be compiling a list of all those who do not know their time of birth, so that we can use it for tomorrow in the session. So. Please come through. Um, it's 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 one of those tools that we need in life because when you have that tool, you know exactly what you should be focused on. You know what is happening. You know what you should be uh, looking out for. You know what, where's your strength at any point. You know uh, in the next two years what you need to focus on. You know. Uh, what is in your plate you know what you need to be dealing with and you don't deal with things that are not time for and you focus on the things that you're gonna win at so so make sure that you join us tomorrow afternoon and of course um we are having our retreat in october october 5 to 7 it's, it's about relationships uh, relationships is one of the things that I, I you probably, uh, some of you that know me for some time now, I never want to talk about relationships, but God said we needed to talk about the fact that um, how the relationships we have and how they come into our lives and what they do in our lives is connected to how um, we attract them and also our soul contracts. So the they are found out about my soul contracts with the relationships that have hurt me the most. I found so much healing because I understood the purpose of the relationship and I stopped look, looking at it as it as it how it is, or is it a failing, or is it working, or is it not there, or is it there? But I understood the soul contracts I have with these relationships, and that is when I got the most groundbreaking healing so the next healing uh, retreat is going to be about that october five to seven we're going to be at mahalis if you can be able to join us please make sure that you talk to my pa and then you can join us in october yeah okay now i'm talking too much okay so let me talk about the messages that we have thank you guys i see your messages i see your messages i see your comments on the comments um i'm reading that as we go along uh, okay so there's um uh there's two about four messages but i'm gonna squeeze it into two because they are almost the same so first thing is unconditional love so there are a few people maybe not few that that few maybe yeah a, a bunch of us here that your spirit guides are asking you to allow yourself to be open to giving and receiving love. Without fear, receive love. Do not think of being rejected. There's some of us here that you fear love so much. You fear that when you go and ask for that business, they will say no. When you go and ask for the funding, they will say no. When you are in a relationship, it's going to go wrong. In the relationship you are in, you're just waiting for things to go wrong. You are waiting for the next person who comes into your life to do you wrong. You are scared of receiving and giving love. Now your spirit guides are saying, when you want love in your life, you must go into the earth saying that in this current moment there's somebody who needs to be loved and that person 
is ready to love somebody. I am that person who's going to give that person love. And that person is going to find the love they are asking God for in me. So guys are saying there's somebody in this world right now that is praying for a good partner. That is praying and asking for a good partner. And they are willing to be a good partner. Now, your guys are saying, show up in the world and say, I'm an answer to somebody's prayer. Me, I am the answer to somebody's prayer. Okay, now, wow, that is amazing. <laughs> I'm not laughing, guys. I'm just sending the message. <laughs> yeah wake up and be like me i'm the answer to somebody's prayer there is somebody right now that is asking for a partner that is willing to love be loyal and be great and you are the answer mm. i was never ready for that all right okay so uh, I'm, I'm 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 gonna try to 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 keep it short for the sake of time there's more that's coming through from that message uh So when you're doing that, you are going to have to focus on loving yourself unconditionally. Because when you love yourself unconditionally, you teach others to love you unconditionally. When you love yourself with your wrongs, when you love yourself with your downs, when you love yourself with your mistakes, when you love yourself with your creepiness, when you love yourself with the things that you don't do well, when you love yourself when you've let others down, when you love yourself when you let yourself down, you teach others to love you unconditionally. We all want to be loved unconditionally, but we have to love ourselves unconditionally to teach others to love us unconditionally. All right, all right, okay, thank you. Thank you for that message. I'm sure the one that needs this has had. <laughs> Okay, so let's go to the next one. Okay. Somebody else, a bunch of us here, the message for you is that the path has been cleared for you to make a change to what has previously seemed unachievable. There are things that you have gone through that you thought are unachievable. Like, I can't get that done. I can't make this happen. I, I've tried this. It failed before. I organized an event. Nobody showed up. Nobody signed up. Nobody came for my thing. Nobody gave me a job. Nobody took my business serious. Nobody bought for me. And now that path has been cleared now you can try again if you have something that you have almost given up on because it never worked out last time that path has been made here accept the past learn from it accept yourself and what you've been called here to do and uh, when you accept who you are you rejuvenate yourself you honor yourself and the world will honor you back the path has been cleared <laughs> to make change that which previously to that which previously have seemed unachievable it's time to go slay okay like i said there's four messages but i've tried to squeeze them quickly to to two because i see that they are mostly almost the same but i know that um i needed to hear this message just had it thank you guys for showing up um um, 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 tomorrow we're having the session make sure you come through starting at 4pm um, 
what else <laughs> any information you need if you need a session you need a healing session a more one-on-one -on -one healing session with me please send a message to my pa if you need an astrology reading a detailed one uh come tomorrow <laughs> the astrology sessions take a little bit of time because i have to prepare your chart so if you are wanting an astrology reading and we're taking a little bit of time to give you a date don't worry it's gonna happen but healing sessions are available every day between 4 a.m and 9 a.m in the morning of a zoom you can show up for that <laughs> other than that guys thank you so much i'll see you tomorrow the ones that are coming through for the astrology class tomorrow the our goddess session thank you so much and have a blessed saturday um i'm gonna save this on youtube and if you feel that you still need to come back and check it out and do it again because healing the heart chakra is crazy i know but we have to heal it right that's not choice we have to heal it so thank you so much for 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 coming through i'm gonna send the link uh on my um on my on my youtube please share it with others others that you know that they need this please just give it to them and say hey check this out uh because we all need healing thank you so much guys have a lovely lovely saturday and um i'll see you tomorrow bye, -bye. thank you